Welcome back to the series where I test the old school RuneScape wiki's money making methods. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and then comment your RuneScape name down below to be entered into the giveaway so you can win the profits from these methods. And if you like these videos feel free to check out the playlist in the description box down below. But with that all being said let's jump into today's video. Welcome to season 7 of testing OSRS wiki money making methods and today's money maker is going to be collecting blue dragon scales. The requirements you will need to be able to do this method are the following. All of these requirements are recommended, but I will just run through them quickly. It is highly recommended to have at least a level 70 in the agility skill. This is so you can use the shortcut, but it is not necessary, as if you are below 70 agility, then you could always use a dusty key. But I would recommend waiting to do this method until you have at level 70 agility, as this will speed up your trips considerably. You will also need at least a level 37 in the magic skill, or the ability to bring Falador teleport tabs, as this will help us with teleporting you back to Falador, which is where we'll be banking in this video. Wearing weight reducing clothing is highly recommended, and if you are wearing a full graceful outfit, then you could achieve the lowest possible weight of minus 27.5 kilograms. Finally, if you are a low level, I would either use a anti fire shield or some sort of anti fire protection. But now let's go over my gear and inventory. So my inventory for this method is fairly straightforward. All I have is a stack of house teleport tabs as we will be using these to get back to Felidor. And uh, this is because I have a Felidor teleport in my POH. My gear for this video, all I'm wearing is a full set of Graceful. You can grab this from Rooftop Agility. But now let's go over some information about this method. Blue Dragon Scales are spawned by the Blue Dragons. They can spawn in Taverly Dungeon, Corsair Cove Dungeon and in the Isle of Souls Dungeon. They can also be obtained as an uncommon drop from the Brutal Blue Dragons which are located in the Catacombs of Corinth. All the blue scales that are located in the Tavoli Dungeon, a Dusty Key or 70 Agility is required. Um, this is so you can reach the area containing the blue dragons. If the player is collecting these blue dragon scales in the Tavoli Dungeon, then the players can expect to collect about 550 scales per hour. But like I said previously, 70 Agility is also recommended to avoid having to traverse around the Tavoli Dungeon. And um, if you don't have 70 Agility, then you will need to have a Dusty Key. After you've collected all of the blue dragon scales or the, or the dragon scales you want, then you can easily sell these on the Grand Exchange or if you wanted to, you can keep them to use while you are training your Herblos skill. As if you grind these dragon scales up, then you will be left with some dragon scale dust and this is required to make weapon poisons and anti-fire potions. But bear in mind, grinding these blue dragon scales into dust loses a decent amount of value on them. So I would just recommend for you to sell them on the Grand Exchange to maximise your profits. But as there isn't anything left to say, let's jump on over to the final price check so we can see how many blue dragon scales we've managed to collect over this one hour and to see how much money we'll be giving away in today's video. Hello and welcome to the final price check of collecting these blue dragon scales and uh, all the blue dragon scales we've managed to collect over this one hour comes out to be 584 so quite a decent amount to be honest a little bit more than average um, also, my, also in my inventory we have the one extended anti-fire potion we used and then we use 24 teleport to houses, so we use 24 house teleports to get back to Falador. I probably should have used an anti-fire shield, but I just completely forgot to just whack it on. So I ended up using my protect from magic prayer instead. And um, because I was going back to the house, it was quite easy for me to just rejuvenate my sprint and my uh, prayer. So let's go ahead and price check this. But before we do that, let's go and open up a calculator. So we can just calculate the amount of um, investments, which was one super anti-fire, not super anti-fire, one extended anti-fire and 24 house tabs. So today's investment for this video was 10,729 GP. We will now go ahead and just remove all of this. And the 584 blue dragon scales comes out to be 495,816 GP, which is decent. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this number in the calculator. Then we'll go ahead and just add in this number. So four, whoops, four, nine, five, 
0.816. Take away our investment, which was 10,729 GP. So one hour of collecting blue dragon scales comes out to be 485,087 GP, which is decent to be honest. And like always, that will be going away to one of you guys. So let's jump on over to the spinning wheel so we can see who'll be taking away these profits. If you guys want, you can join my CC for all the latest updates and to know what new videos are going live, just like this one you're watching right now. Hello and welcome to the spinning wheel. We currently have 16 entries and one new entry from the previous video. And our newest new entry is MCARS1002. So we'll just go ahead and shuffle this. Uh, I think that's enough. And uh, actually we'll do one more. There we go. And today's winner of our profits is going to be... Congratulations to Devon. You are today's one of our profits. I'm guessing that's what the X means. I'm guessing it's an A anyway. But congratulations to you. Now let's jump on over to the leaderboard so we can see where this moneymaker ranks. Welcome to the moneymaker leaderboard. On this leaderboard, I ranked the moneymakers after I tried them and I split it into four columns. The first column is for the method I was using. The second column is for the money this method has earned me. Column 3 is for the order they rank in compared to the order I released the videos in. And column 4 is for difficulty. But after I tried each method I will rank it. If it is really hard to do or if it's hard to do then I'll rank it as red hard. If it is really easy to do or if it's easy to do I'll rank it as green easy. And if it is somewhere in between like a lot of these methods are then I will rank it as yellow medium. This is for like the medium tier. So today's money maker was collecting blue dragon scales. And this netted us a prop of 485,087 GP. This was episode 6 on this season 7. I ranked this as easy to do. I was going to rank it as medium. But then I thought getting 70 agility is not actually that hard. It's just a bit boring, so that is why I ranked it as easy. And by the time you've got 70 agility, if you're doing rooftop agility, you, then you're more than likely going to have weight reducing clothing. So uh, that is why I ranked it as easy to do rather than medium. But today's winner was Devon, so congratulations to you once again. But I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. It really will help the channel grow. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed, nevertheless. I've been Ben. I do apologise if my voice is a bit chalked in this video because as I'm just getting over um a cold at the moment <laughs> but um i hope you guys have all enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next money maker goodbye if you guys are looking around for your newest game make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest cd keys available on the internet for pretty much every game even new releases i'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out